is UT Horns looking for more of a statement before playing their Big 12 opener in Lubbock. It was, well, emotional to say the least last night at the stadium. First home game for the Longhorns, first home start for Garrett Gilbert, but also fans remembering 9-11, but not only 9-11, but paying tribute to the linebacker from Wyoming, Ruben Narcisse, who was killed in a car accident on Monday. Longhorns got down to the business of football, and once again, their defense was strong. Keiston Randall swallowing Austin Cardo Samuels, and then Marquise Goodwin on the reverse, and watch the very end of this play. Goodwin takes a big hit. Head just snaps on the turf. He had to shake off the cobwebs. He would retain, return. Longhorns could muster just two early field goals. Justin Tucker was perfect. Splits the uprights twice, and the Horns clinging to a 6 to nothing lead, but late in the first half. Wyoming making a couple of plays. First play, a pass play, and then Carter Samuels with his feet takes it to the house and the hundred plus thousand are stunned. Even the Wyoming fans probably a little stunned as they take a 7-6 lead. But then Texas, well, the switch seemed to go off. Garrett Gilbert buying time with his feet and then making a play to Barrett Matthews, the tight end to keep the drive alive. And then Gilbert giving it to Fozzie Whitaker. Whitaker, tough running inside, breaks tackles, breaks more tackles into the end zone. His longest touchdown run as a Longhorn and Texas answers, and they have a 13-7 lead. And then next possession, Gilbert to Mike Davis, the freshman who has an outstanding ball game, including his first touchdown to go with over 100 yards receiving. And just like that, Texas has a 20-7 lead at the half. Second half, more defense. Sam Macho, the tackle for loss, just 257 yards on offense for Wyoming. James Kirkendall, some tough running after the catch. Kirkendall, of course, the top receiver returning for Gary Gilbert. And then how about Gilbert? Won't make you forget Vince or Colt McCoy, but he does. Extend a drive with his feet. Greg Davis says that will be the last time they see Gilbert Hurdle. And then Cody Johnson, the Thunder comes in late this time. Two touchdowns. Longhorns do get the victory to improve to 2 0. Still a lot to work on as well. Coming right back and scoring immediately. Uh, I thought it jump started us and then uh, to stop them and then score again offensively. Um, I, I, I thought it was really a good sign because we told them in. in all week and in pregame that this would be a game where we'd start seeing their personality come out and that uh, uh, they needed to be more competitive and, and get more excited about things and I thought, I thought they did all that tonight. Finding that rhythm as an offense uh, towards, the, towards, towards the end of that half helped us just kind of relax and start, and start just playing, the, playing, uh, you know, playing with passion, playing with emotion and trying to have some fun out there. I'm motivated and I've been in the coaches area trying to get the plays and signals and try to try not to have no buts and just do what I can to help the team. And uh, the, the team trusts me. You know, they cheer for me and they, you know, root for me when I'm out there. So I just want to just thank them and thank the coaches for trusting me too when I'm out there. But just got to make plays. All these fans, I just seen all these fans. I just I had to give them something to be excited about and keep coming back. Felt a lot more comfortable, you know. Uh, last week we weren't as, you know, comfortable with the old linemen just because it was our first game. We're all grease, trying to grease up everything. And, uh, you know, this week we came out, showed a little bit more, you know, had a little bit more practice with each other, and uh, it, it felt great. I feel we had more energy this week, and we just had a more sense of, um, I mean, last week I guess it opened our eyes that we can't go out there nonchalant, and we just pulled together this week and it was just a better experience on the field. We played, you know, uh, hard last week, but the enthusiasm out there having fun wasn't the same as it was this week. This week we had, we made sure that we had fun every play out there and played together and everybody's on the same page and we just went out there and, and um, just act like we were kids again. They'll be excited about Lubbock and they'll understand that challenge and that's one of the things we challenged them about tonight is that they, they needed to get into the game and be excited about it from the beginning to the end because next week uh, we'll have to play better than we have in the first two games to win.